Okay, I'm starting at Elk Garden for a 7.2 mile slap pack to Massey Gap. This is where I left off the other day when I fell. Um, I do have a bruised rib, so I'm trying to take it easy over the next couple of days, and I took it easy the last couple of days. So I think a 7.2 mile slap pack would be nice. And I'll be going over and doing part of Grayson Highlands today, so that'll be cool. And we'll just see how it goes. So I'm coming up out of Elk Garden. I've already passed two big piles of horse poop. <laughs> so, ah, oh, there's another one, but at least that one's dry. Earlier it was pretty fresh. But this is coming up. I'll be going up to Mount Rogers. And then after Mount Rogers, I believe I get over into Grayson Highlands, um, which will be really awesome. I forgot my windbreaker, but it's supposed to be warm today, like hot, like high 70s, up to around 80 or 81. Climbing up. So here's my white blaze. Trail's going up this way. I think it's going to go up that way, maybe. But I think Mount Rogers is this. I'm not 100% sure though. So I'll be figuring that out. And then you can see lots of beautiful little wildflowers. Then you've got your mountains, your different ranges back here. And then if I come around this way, this is a white top mountain. So this is the one that I fell coming down. Um, so that was the culprit. All the I didn't wait long enough to get back out. It was still really wet and, and a little rainy, definitely slippery and muddy and all of that. So I probably should have waited another day, but it is what it is. And at least I didn't crack my rib, it's just bruised. Yay. Here's some terrain that's a little different. Man, this is overgrown. Wow. I'm actually climbing, I think, up part of Mount Rogers. Of course, sometimes, you know, it goes up and then it goes down a little. It's all part of the climb up. But, and right now I'm going down a little. But this is uh, really grown up around the trail so I just keep thinking about ticks coming off these darn leaves and also um, these bushes also chiggers those are the worst but I'll find out that's why I'm wearing long sleeves long pants my pants have been treated with permethrin although it probably wouldn't hurt me to treat them again my boots have been treated with permethrin my top has not um, my hat ha is insect shield, so it's been treated professionally. And then, um, I'm wearing citronella. Citronella works pretty good. And I think I still have my face net in my slap pack if I needed. If there were a lot of bugs trying to get around my face, I'd put that on. Okay. Looks like it's clearing out a little bit. Yay. Well, here's the trail. I'm not gonna feel much of it going down since I have fallen recently, but it's very rocky. Uh, and I've heard going up to the top of Mount Rogers is like that. And that it might even be a little bit of rock climbing, but not too bad. So thought I'd share this little piece. This part's really cool. Lots of rocks, lots of roots. So glad it's not wet. Here's another stacked um, blaze. I'll have to figure out which way it's going. I think it's gonna turn right. Nope, it's gonna turn left. All right. Well, at least I can see that. 
<laughs> there we go. And here's the next blaze. Whew. All these rocks, all these booty rocks and whew, this is the trail. Would you just look at how Lord of the Rings-ish this is? You know I love this stuff. Yeah. And then we have our, our little path here. Ooh. But I am just having a blast today. I'm not having to rush and have a full pack. Look at that. So cool. Came out of here. And look at this. It's coming out of the woods. I gotta figure out which is the correct way to go though. That's a blue blaze. So it's probably water down that way. And I'm thinking the trail still goes back this way. Although eventually it will come out somehow into something like that yeah right now the trail's still going this way though but isn't this cool yeah i love it we're about to be in you know out in the highlands so this is great well there was supposedly no view at the top of mount rogers and it's true I'm not quite there yet, but I'm really close, and there's a great view here. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. So far, this is probably maybe a third of a mile from the top of Mount Rogers. I've gone through little fairy Lords of the Rings-ish forest and I've gone through rocks and now I'm up here getting to the top where it's kind of scrubby and rocky. Woo, I'll be glad when I get to the shelter so I can eat some lunch. Came from back here. Look at that. I'm really hoping the trail continues like this for a ways. It's smoothed out. And I think it does get more like this on the section that I'm coming up to. And I'm being told by uh, hikers that have come south instead of north that I'm about to come up on some of the prettiest country in the whole AT. So. We'll see. Um, that's really cool. So I'm going to keep you with me for a few minutes. Or a couple of minutes and see how it goes. Because I feel like it's going to really open up and be magnificent. Again as it has done on several other occasions in several other sections. Yep. Look at that. Uh, so great. Coming up on Thomas Knob Shelter where I'm going to eat lunch. It's right off the trail. Woohoo! So, this is Thomas Knob Shelter. This is where I took my lunch break. Um, there's somebody here kind of convalescing. She has a shin issue, but. Um, and it's a double decker. Like. Um, 
uh, high knob shelter. So you just climb the ladder up, which I'm not going to do. And then you've got a lower level and an upper level. And come off and come out with these rocks. Uh, there's a picnic table. Um, water's back that way. Apparently the privy is back that way, but I don't think I need the privy. I'm just going to keep going. And so just wanted to share that with you. I'll come out here and continue up this way. Yep. Thought I'd show y'all a bear box um, because like it's not shut right now, but there's nothing in it. Um, that's to keep bear out because in certain areas, bear have figured out how to get food bags even when they're hung properly. So, in this area right now, uh, Mount Rogers and Grayson Highlands, you're required to stay at a shelter or a campsite that has a bear box. So, that makes it kind of difficult planning my miles when I'm backpacking out, but right now it's not a big deal because I'm just flat packing, so it doesn't matter. Um, we'll see what happens when I actually get back on trail. Anyway, bear box. Okay. This is the trail not far out of Thomas Knob Shelter. Um, and I'm just going to make my way down to Massey Gap. But this is supposed to be so beautiful. And I thought I would share a little of it while I'm going. While I can. You can see it's very rocky up here on the trail. Then we have these marvelous views going down the trail. Wow. I know it's a little bumpy the way I'm having to walk on these rocks, but look at this. That's what opened up for me. I'm not sure what I'm coming up to, but I guess it's, uh, wow. Look over here. Nice and beautiful. And then here is the gate. And we do have to go through it. Okay. Hope it's not something that's going to be a pain in the ass. But if, excuse me, a pain in the rear. But if it is, it is. I know I'm always talking about how I'd like to share the smells and, you know, fragrance. Uh, uh, aromas whatever fragrant how fragrant everything is with you all um in this part you get big whiffs of horse poo from time to time <laughs> i haven't seen a pony yet but i've sure smelled them so i'm looking at the trail here but i also see this and i feel like there's no way they're not going to make us go over that I just know they are because that's what the Appalachian Trail uh, maintainers, conservancy, all well, the people who built it in the beginning and who maintain it now and have to change up the routes. They like to make us go up on rocky stuff at tops of mountains. So far it hasn't been too bad, but it's just going to get more so the farther north I go. All right, everybody, we've hit the 500 mile mark. So we are 500 miles closer to Katahdin. Wow, that's incredible. So I just came from back this way and up and over. And here I am, a 
about to come into Grayson Highlands. Wow, would you look at this? Woo! Oh my gosh. You must be kidding me. Okay, well. There it is. And there it is. So I guess I'm going to just go up this way. Which is maybe a little easier than trying to climb up that steep part. Well, I'm kind of at the top. And, I mean, I've been coming down from Mount Rogers, I think. But I'm in Grayson. I'm coming into Grayson Highlands. It said two miles. But... I think that's cattle down there, not the horses. But it's really cool to see it. Although, on trail, like right there, I think those are horses. Just standing there. Yep, those are ponies, I'm pretty sure. I guess I'll come up to them and see what happens right in the middle of the trail. Well, day hikers, but still. is it sick that's laying down there's a number to call <sighs> oh my gosh it's a bull just a little baby just a little baby hello darling I hope you're okay I hope you're okay, baby. And then you can see they have some, what they say are longhorns, which I guess, uh, maybe. Those horns could be bigger though. But anyway, there's mama. I mean, look at that. Hello, babies. Uh-oh. Yeah, and there comes a calf. Oh my goodness. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I'm not hanging around. So the calves came running toward me and toward the foal. And it's kind of like they want to play, but they don't know what to do. And I just, when those calves started coming towards me, I was like, nope, I don't want mama around me. So y'all just go ahead. Cool. All right, I'm about to go in Fat Man Squeeze. Let's see if I can video some of it. This is in Grayson Highlands. <laughs> it's not too bad, actually. It's pretty good, but I'm gonna stop filming I'll go out, obviously, in this opening. It's not very long. And be on the other side. Oh, my gosh. Just so pretty. Trail is pretty rocky, too. But it's just gorgeous here. Loving it. I cannot tell you how much I love Grayson Highlands. Everybody loves it. But look. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll have to find out how long the wild ponies have been in the area. I think for a long, long time. Um, and uh, it's just such a cool area. I mean, oh my goodness. And I'm getting toward the end of my day. I'm headed to Massey Gap to be picked up. Um, and here's another pony. Just having a little meal. Having a little snack, a little dinner. Yeah. Hello, pony. Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Oh, what a gorgeous pony. All right, here I'm going down into Massey Gap. It's actually 0.6 miles off the Appalachian Trail and I didn't realize that, but now I do. And my day is about done, but I'm late getting back to my shuttle driver, EGADS. Something good Something good Is gonna come my way Come my way Hey, hey, hey Something good is gonna come my way There's a feeling Deep in my soul Something good. 